Welcome to episode 6 of STS, in which there will be many giveaways and aways given. <laughs> wow, how many prizes have we got for this week? Seven? Is that right? Getting on to it. Yeah. Yeah, so of course, as always, you know who I am, and I'm joined by Fluke and Kel, hiding away somewhere. Hey up, guys. Evening. Evening. Look at you. Just kind of suave. I bet you sat there with like a cap on and a pipe. Slippers next to a fire. Yeah, but it's one of those um, it's one of those bubble pipes because I don't actually smoke. <laughs> oh, those are always awesome when people try to act sophisticated. And it's just like, bub, 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 bub. yeah. So let's uh, go around the table and see what you guys have been up to. Luke, what have you been playing? Hey, not a great deal that I can actually talk about. Um, how about you stick to the stuff that you can talk about then? Uh, in that case, I haven't really played a great deal. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you are fantastic! Way to just kill momentum yeah, straight well, off the bat. I, 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 I've, I, I've been playing a couple of betas that I can't talk about. Um, other than that, I've been playing around with a bit more manic magic or in the intervening periods and the odd bit of Diablo 3, but nothing really that I can't... Have you had any experience with the real money auction house now that's come out? Are you rich and famous and Scrooge McDuck? That would suggest that I've played enough Diablo to have something worthwhile selling. Um, the other half has. She's she made like 250 the other day from selling something on there. I don't know. It was like a, a three quid item or something, or a four hey. quid item, and Blizzard take an inordinate chunk, and then PayPal take a little slice, and she's left with ultimately about 50% of whatever the item goes for. Uh, let's put but that that's still more money more than she would have had. Yes, it's true. It is money that for just sitting playing a game that she enjoys playing anyway. But it kind of took the shine off the enthusiasm for me. I don't know. To me, that would still be good for me if it was like, hey, I can sell these pixels for actual cash that I can then go and spend on things. Yeah. Yeah. Nice so the better. So what if, what's, what's Kel been up to this week? Uh, not a huge amount actually. I took a look at Babel Rising, which I did a video on, and I went and played a few more hours of Mad Riders after I finished doing that video because that game is amazingly fun. <laughs> I've had, uh, I think it was about five people come back to me and say, hey, Mad Riders looks quite cool. Is that on PC? And it's like, yes, actually it is. And they're like, awesome, I'll pick up a copy. So that seemed to go down quite well. Yeah. I would and. Say the other one that you did, which was Babel Rising, I took a look at, and I have to say, I, I think I'm going to pick up a copy of that. That is a lot of fun. It does look quite cool. So what else? What about video-wise? What have you been up to? Uh, video-wise, I did videos of the two of those games, and also we are into the last five episodes of Space Marine and Final Fantasy. So kind of getting excited as Space Marine's coming to the end. A lot of people are fairly eager to see what happens. When is the next episode of Space Marine scheduled? Uh, they are scheduled for, let's see, there's one coming out on Sunday, one coming out on Monday of, um... So Final two next week. Well, there's one Final Fantasy, one Space Marine. Ah, uh, I see, I see, I see. Fair enough. It's just luck they synced up so they can actually end at the same time before I continue with Final Fantasy on the stream. That makes sense. That's cool. cool. So, sounds pretty good. So, me, I yeah, guess. I was just going to say, what have you got planned? Yeah. What Look you at you two, to? suddenly, like, turning your eyes <laughs> on me, like... like I am Sauron. Your turn. <laughs> oh, so I've been playing Crater more than I should. I just, I really seem to be enjoying Crater. I, however, then slipped back into a dirty habit of playing Diablo. Oh, and then, okay. of course, I'm still maintaining my average a day of rage-inducing Dota. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, uh, look, yeah. at, look at you two growing now, that one. Less said on it, the better. Just Disgust. leave me to it. Yeah. yeah. Video-wise, oh, jeepers. There was Splice, Crater, there was Adventures of Shuggy, and I think that was everything. There may have been... Oh, there was Bounce as well. And I, I'm going to say really that was everything. Because I had a little play around with that, and it, what turned We've out... Got what the... started off as, I'm just going to have a little play around with this, uh, this little indie game that I've yeah. been sent. Mm -hmm. Hang on, where did that four hours go? It was like, wait, <laughs> hang on, what? Yeah, everyone that I know. Screaming penguins and bears for not being in the right place at the right time. And, oh man. Everyone that really I know that has tried Bounce has played it for more than they should. Even, like, PR guy and Jay had a, a quick go on it. He snapped <laughs> into my room when I was there. He was like, what's this? 
and it was like, it's bounce. Oh, hang on, I've got a Skype call. So like, I picked up the Skype call, and he was just sat there, and he was like, ah, penguins, Ooh, square walrus, <laughs> penguins, yeah. ah, where are the squirrels? <laughs> it's like, Jay, you seem to be enjoying this way too much. And he was just like, this is kind of fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's always it's always, good, it's always good when someone. It's so easy to pick up, but it is quite tricky to get through them fast. But I'm really excited to try the four-player like speed run thing that we got going on. I'm training for it. Oh, it's, yeah, I'm going to have to get the updated copy so I can uh, get some new training in. Yeah, but we're going to be doing the space level, I believe, or the haunted one. Oh, so space. avoid one of those two. Okay. okay. Do the other ones if you're going to practice, because it's a case of we're going to go in blind, as I think it would be more fun. Fair enough. Yeah. Which, to me, makes sense. So, what else should we... we... Oh, ooh, what else? Let's cover that first. Uh, what we got? Uh, Fred? Cup coming we've got well Kel, do you want to do yours first and then I'll, I'll take a deep breath and spit ours out actually i've gotten my hands on a beta key for secret world which i'm going to check out this weekend i'm very excited for that and also i'm going to be taking a look at what's out on playstation plus because for a monthly subscription you actually get access to a lot of very good older ps3 games so i'm just going to be kind of highlighting that don't they also cool. discount stuff by a bomb? You get ridiculous discounts on some titles, like seventy-five yeah. percent in some places. So it's kind of yeah. like a digital bargain bin, as it were. Pretty much, yeah. It's uh, and it's not it's, all that expensive either. As far as I'm aware, this isn't this isn't things like indie titles either. I, I I've gotten rid of the PS3, uh, the Xbox and PC only now. So, but the PS3 sale things that they reduced to like seventy-five percent off. They're actually fairly good titles, rather than like the little indie stuff. There is some, right? there is some smaller titles. titles. Yeah, there's some yeah. smaller titles that do get discounted quite heavily as well, but they seem to be shifting their attention more towards pure PS3 titles because that's what people are after. Speaking of things getting discounted heavily, the Steam sales are coming up, and I am panicking. Good. <laughs> more to the like, point, your wallet's cowering yeah. in the corner. My wallet is cowering because, thankfully, so far I, ha I have to touch wood, and I know by saying this I'm going to do myself. But thankfully, so far, I've only had two people come up to me and go, Hey, are you doing anything for the Steam sales? It's like, yes, of course we're doing something for the Steam sales. We always do something for the Steam sales. <laughs> it's how we essentially started. Yeah, but true. It's, it's, oh God, my wallet is cowering in fear. Yeah. So, on the subject of games and cheap games, how about we give some away? Yeah, let's crack on with that, actually. Sure. Okay, so I think we should go for Shuggy first and give those away. So for anyone that isn't aware, uh, Adventures of Shuggy is a platforming game where you play a purple platforming miscreant. I love wording it that way, purple platforming miscreant. And we asked you guys what Shuggy is, because the video kind of doesn't really give you too much of a clue. He's just kind of purple and irritating in some ways. Mm -hmm. And we asked you to come up with your winners or what you thought it was and we'd pick some winners and we originally were only giving away one copy But then Dave who works for Smudge Cat got back to me and was like, hey, yeah, have an extra one And it was like, holy crap, we get to give away two copies. That's awesome. Excellent. So Kel, I believe you've got one of the winners in a little envelope. Do you want to open it and tell us who it is? Indeed I do. Uh, this one was from Bobaloo who basically said that Shuggy was born from a one-night stand between Count Von Count and Catwoman. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. That's a really horrible, like, <laughs> mental image in my head of those two doing it. But when you look at when you look at Shuggy, it fits. Strangely. It does fit, but I still ch can't just get over Count Von Count <laughs> just, like, thrust. One, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> thrust. Two, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Three, thrust. Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> there you go. So, um, yeah, mine was by Gummy Zergling, and Gummy said, this is fantastic, I love this one, it stood out in my brain so much. Gummy said that Shuggy is one part vampire bat, one part Castlevania miniboss, one part Krusty's funhouse enemy, and three parts awesome. <laughs> and that was fantastic. Nice. We are going to be putting these up on the screen at the moment, I think. Nice. I'm going to make sure that that's done so you can see these entries as well so there you go gummy zergling and bubbaloo was it bubbaloo Bubble yeah yeah congratulations you two have won copies of adventures of shuggy how awesome is that but that's not all oh no 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 so we also have the crater giveaway to give away 
And we have five copies of that one. And this is this is interesting now. Because you guys know how we have four copies in a collector's edition. Yep. To give away. So I uh, I poked Fat Shark, the guys who made this game. And oh, I was yeah. like, hey, you guys gave us these these five keys to give away. Uh, how would you guys like to pick one of the winners? And we'll make sure that that one gets the collector's edition. And we actually got uh, there, one of the big guys come back and not going to give his name out because, you know. And he came back and he was like, okay, we've uh, we've had a look through them all and we've decided on the one that we're going to give it to. And I think Kel has that one or do I? No, I do. There you go. Strangely enough, actually, this one wasn't picked by us, but Gummy Zergling won this one as well. <laughs> nice. And, two tries. Uh, yeah. So congratulations, Gummy, you win two games. But uh, the guys from Fat Shark picked his entry of the very lost Vikings. Nice. I which like I thought was pretty good. So, but you're, you're holding on to an entry as well there, aren't you, Luke? I, my choice. Who was who was in yours by first? It was Raucous 2. So, price for Raucous 2 for Rowdy Randy and the Skunk Chumpers. Which makes me <laughs> giggle every time I try and read it. <laughs> That's actually. That, that's I managed actually... to get it out first time without screwing up. I'm quite impressed at myself. I sit there practicing that a few times. That's pretty good. Kel, what about yours? Does yours beat that? Well, I picked one that kind of went more for the Swedish theme that we had suggested from Anaxiomander. It was Sventer the Dragon. Nice. Oh. <laughs> that, that's, that's good, but I've got a better one. So, mine is from ASG Deminta. And my, uh, this entry is the Donnybrook Rugger Buggers. <laughs> oh god. Which, that's fantastic. I just have this image of three Irish guys in post-apocalypse Dick Sweden. Just going around, <laughs> punching things. We also, we also, by strange, I don't know what we would define it as, bat-like creature dropped off an entry from Sir, well, a, a winning choice rather, from Surge. Yeah. I, uh, I had to like try and pry it from its claws before it flew back out the window, but Surge actually picked an entry to give a prize to. So I, I don't think, given that you know he apparently now has an army of bat-like creatures, that we should ignore it. Kel, yeah. do you have that one at a hand? I do actually. It's from Murray J. Shaw, the New World Excavators. Oh, jeez, oh, really? Pony. The Excavathors. The Excavathors. To be fair, you got to keep in mind this is Surge that picked it. Oh. Yeah. So he I just wants you, to Surge. inflict misery on everyone. Yeah. I, I hate you, Surge. So there you go. In total, that's who were they? We've got Bubaloo and Gummy Zergling with the Adventures of Shuggy prizes. Congratulations to you two. And for the five copies of Crater, we've got um, Gummy Zergling and. The other one that I can't remember the name of that I have to hand as well, which is... I don't know, somewhere. Find it quick. There you go. ASG okay. Deminter. Your one fluke was from... Raucous 2. Kel. Anaxiomander. And... Murray J. Shaw. There you go. So congratulations to all you guys. Your entries will be up on screen so other people can see them and like them and be happy with them. There you go. So, anything else to say before we wrap this up? <clears throat> No, I'm, 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 so, I'm really waiting for this. Uh, I'm hoping a couple of these betas that I'm playing are, uh, are going to open up soon so that you can. Yeah, so I can open yeah. up and get some uh, footage and bits and pieces. One of them I'm actually quite excited for. It looks like they're doing the thing justice. Can't really say okay. anymore. Right, I'm going to now take a deep breath and go through all of this, so uh, this should be quite interesting. So, over the next week from Kel, we of course have coming the Space Marine video, the Final Fantasy video, PlayStation Network, and PlayStation Network deals rather, and the Secret World Bay, is that correct? That's right. Excellent. And from myself and Fluke, you have the Frey video coming that should be four player massive chaos mayhem with Kel and Surge as well. You also have Roller Coaster Rampage coming from myself, Magic Gathering coming from me, Kel, and Surge. You've also got Quantum, Quantum Conundrum coming from myself. And I think that's everything. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of videos. Yeah. That is that is a lot of videos spread out between us. I think that's a video a day on my channel from me, Fluke, and you guys as well. The magic co-op I'm looking forward to. The bounce video as well, which I forgot, is the multiplayer one which is coming out, which should be good. So that's if you have any questions, queries, or comments, leave them down below. If you have anything else to say, of course, leave them down below. All of you guys that got winners, check your inboxes on YouTube, as well as if we have you on Twitter or Steam, anywhere we will grab you and throw these at you repeatedly. So, until next week, for myself, Fluke, and Kel, peace.
Peace. In a while. Stay awesome.